Hello and welcome to my review for the F1 2012 American Grand Prix. That was a pretty epic race, lots of overtakes, a very, very fine performance by the front two guys, Vettel and Lewis Hamilton. But Lewis Hamilton managed to just overtake him on the last few laps, the last 10 laps I think it was, in a very entertaining race overall. So we're going to talk about a little bit about what happened before the race. Massa had a penalty for a gearbox change, which didn't actually need to be done. Uh, Ferrari actually forced him to have a gearbox change, which meant uh, Alonso went up one place, but also more importantly, he went onto the good side of the track. And yeah, that's what sort of happened. Uh, obviously, Massa wasn't very happy, saying quoted as being not many uh, teammates would do that for him, like any, for the actual team. Um, that, that's probably very, very true. I'm not really sure how I'd feel if that was me. I feel a little bit betrayed. And Massa had a very quick car and is very performing very very well during the race a very good pace so i think he could have been probably even finished third if given a chance but yeah that's what happens unfortunately far is very much an alonso's team and alonso's fighting for the championship so it's very very important for him i was just watching the podium and uh they got their cowboy hats on and they look pretty cool i think that's a pretty cool idea by the americans um, obviously you know you know they get pretty hats where they've like, got first second or third on it this time they have cowboy hats, which is pretty funny. Uh, definitely something they'll probably take home and put up somewhere. Lewis Hamilton had an amazing race, amazing performance, amazing pace. The McLaren seems to work pretty well. Uh, the tyres seem to last pretty long. And yeah, Lewis Hamilton just performed really well. I think this victory was owed to him. Um, he's had a few misfortunate decisions and sort of uh, mechanical problems in the last few races. And I think this sort of victory was needed. Uh, and very much owed to him. It's unfortunate Lewis Hamilton isn't fighting for the championship because I think he's been good enough this year. I think this has probably been one of his best years as a driver. But McLaren haven't given him a car which has been reliable enough, which is uh, extremely unfortunate. You can tell he looks a little bit um, emotional on the podium and sort of, re re sort of receiving that victory. So you probably reckon this probably might be his last McLaren victory and then a, quite an important era. And the car was performing pretty well, to be honest. When you compare that to Mercedes, who come 14th, I think, 13th and 15th, with uh, major, major tyre issues, you have to think, oh, oh, crud. I may have made a mistake here. This could be a massive mistake. But about the championship, Alonso finished third. A very good performance by him. The car was not performing very, very well at all. But again, he did get that little bit of luck. Obviously, he got his teammate to help him out a bit. Um, and he managed to get on, a, on the good side of the track and managed to overtake someone. A few people got, I think he got up to fourth position, just slotting in behind Lewis Hamilton, who actually had quite a bad start because he was on, on that wrong side of the track, which I think pretty much cost everyone on that side one place. So that will hopefully be sorted out next year because that was a bit unfortunate. Uh, Webber normally has quite bad starts and he managed to overtake Lewis Hamilton on the first corner. And yeah, it was quite, quite interesting to see that, but hopefully that's was all refined for next year and just improved on because the start was a bit of a joke on the left on the left side. Uh, I think it would almost be better for Lewis Hamilton to start third, and he might have been able to overtake uh, Vettel on the on the first corner. But McLaren had a very good pace. Uh, Button, Button had very good pace on the on the first stint with his hard tyres, and he managed to control that very very well. But overall, it was a very entertaining race. I'm really pleased. The US is on the calendar now. Uh, I've been hearing reports of being free on the calendar at some point. I hope that's not true because Americans aren't that involved on F1 yet. I think you have to give it time, be patient, uh, let the American audience come and hopefully they will enjoy it. Uh, they seem to enjoy this race, it was a very good one. I like the fact they're using cowboy hats and stuff. Sort of get them feel, just feel like the Americans to get involved a little bit more and sort of, sort of see the entertaining side of this sport. It's a lot more entertaining than NASCAR's going around in circles. Well. I've watched Ness Cousin, it's actually very, very good. That's a bit of a weird statement. But, yeah, it's very, very entertaining and definitely worth watching. And obviously, it's a lot different to your NASCAR racing and sort of indie, indie cars. So, it's it's going to offer you something a little bit different. So, that'd be pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching this uh, quick little review. So, obviously, my driver today was Lewis Hamilton. Um, also, I think, uh, was it Hockenberg had a very good race in the Force India. And uh, Grosjean had a very up and down race, but I think he finished sixth position after a spin. And he probably could have been third or fourth if he didn't spin, because he was about 20 seconds 
uh, going off the track. But yeah, definitely a very, very good race, and very much I very much look forward to next year. And hopefully, one year I can go to that Grand Prix because I think that'd be pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like the video, subscribe, and come back soon. Bye.